Hey everyone, welcome to this week's weekly chat. Today we go over my Minto success story, how my unit has over doubled in value, and the next Minto opportunity. See you soon. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's weekly chat. Uh, and today I wanted to talk about a success story of one of my specific investments um, and why it's relevant is there's a great opportunity that we see coming up and I wanted to uh, parlay the success story into that uh, upcoming development. Um, so today's title is A Minto Success Story. So back in 2014, I was a very pro a development called Minto Westside. Um, I got my keys for it this year uh, and it's gone up in the corner of Bathurst and Front Street. And we sold a number of units there, 20 plus units. Uh, I had family members uh, buy in the building as well. I really believed in the project. In total, there's over 600 units in the project. Uh, there's gonna be now a, a farm boy grocery store going into it. Um, at the time, it was looking like a Whole Foods was gonna go into it. Um, but I, we thought the project was great. But surprisingly, it ended up being um, a slightly difficult sell. And what, what I mean by that is it was very successful for us selling 20 plus units, um, but not all of my regular investors uh, believed in the project. The reason being, and you may find this humorous today, but in 2014, people thought Bathurst in front was a little bit out of the way and people wondered how people living there would get to work. When I replied to them, they would walk and my investors would laugh at me going, no one's going to walk to work, that is too far. What about when it's raining and snowing? Which I also then replied, the streetcar is just up the road on King Street if they need to. Again, they laughed and said, no, people wouldn't do that. It's too far, where's the subway? kind of was an industrial area too. You had car dealerships and random warehouses. Yeah, which was, it was, so it was on the peripheral of what we know as King West, which was really becoming a spot then and people saw it just too far outside of the King West area that anyone would really want to live in and validate the, the investment of their dollars in that project. Um, so this is my Minto success story. I, I'm, I look at things at the time that they're being built and I look at things of what they're going to be like in five years. At the time, yes, it was on the peripheral wise, but we're talking literal margins on maybe a block away. And when you deal with a five year time period, which is literally 2014 is when I signed my piece of paper in 2019, I knew that things would expand and then would accommodate this area in there. And lo and behold, we're in 2019 and this really was a one of the hottest projects for people to live in from a rental perspective um, this year and we know this because we rented 30 plus units in the building for our investors and other people's investors um, over five percent of the building we were responsible we're responsible for representing landlords and putting people in the property and the, a lot of our units we were getting multiple offers on so I'm gonna start at what I initially paid for this property. So I paid 267,490 for a one bedroom unit, which is 428 square feet. Great layout with a window in the bedroom wise, showed like it was over 500 square feet, even though it was 428 square feet. Current value on that unit today, I could sell that unit today for 550,000. So what I've done, I've over doubled the initial purchase price. So I haven't doubled my investment, I doubled the initial purchase price of the property. The total, the difference between the original purchase price and today's market value is 282,510. I bought it for 267,490, over double. My deposit on that, uh, which was 20%, is only 53,000, uh, nearly $54,000. So my actual return, 528%, 528% on my initial deposit of 
that's an incredible return. Would you, would you like those returns on your dollars? Unbelievable. And, and again, it was a difficult sell, slightly, slightly, for my regular investors because they were like, Alex, how are people going to get, a, get to work? It's too far from the, the financial core, um, which I'm not gonna get into that, what I just re spoke. So an amazing layout uh, that I bought. Um, I actually rented my unit. I was surprised how much I got for my unit. I rented my unit for $2,300 per month. I had four competing rental offers on the property. And at 428 square feet, that works out a rent per square foot at $5.37. Um, in, in, incredible returns on the property. Now, what also helped that out, the great layout. Um, I did put an upgraded kitchen in that property, um, which assisted in the demand for it, but also a great builder with great amenities. So when we rented the, the, the unit out, there was carpet on the floors, there was wallpaper in the hallways, the, the, the amenities were near completion wise. So when you're in occupancy, these can sometimes be deterrent to individuals when they're renting their property, not the case in this property. Minto is a top notch builder and they've been around for 60 plus years in Ottawa, in Toronto, in Calgary, down in Florida. Basically a North American level builder wise, um, significantly deep pockets behind them and with a brand to protect and a brand they care about a lot high on the customer service wise high on making sure that you believe in the brand and you want to continue investing with the brand and they'll leave money on the table to make sure as uh, an overall project wise you're happy they talk about their projects with passion wise um, they invest the extra money to make sure these buildings are a true testament to their brand and stand the test of time wise. And this is very important when you're investing with a developer these days because you have a developer that's in it for the long haul. Um, that means that your investment is gonna be there for the long haul as well in regards to the design and the money and everything they're putting behind it. Yeah, they're not just there to make a quick buck. They, they, they're they trying are, to make they, a quality product that's going to stand up in the marketplace. It, it, and truly, truly is. And, and why I call this the Minto success story, I, as an individual, experienced a success. And now I have specific investors in this building that, that have seen great success, that have been extremely happy with the product they've received, the service they've received with the builder. They've said to me, Alex, the next Minto building, I'm buying in that building wise. So they want specifically the brand of the builder now. So now I flow into why I'm talking about this all today. Minto has two projects coming up in the downtown core, really the return to the downtown core. Um, the last project to launch in downtown was in 2015, which was Minto Yorkville Park, which was shortly, up. no, Minto Yorkville Park launched before Minto Westside? I think it did. So Minto Westside was their last project that launched downtown. So we're, we're looking at a significant um, period of time they've been dormant in the market wise, but now they have two sites coming up downtown. And one that I find mirrors Minto West Side a lot that's coming up um, at the end of October is 89 Church Street, called, which is called The Saint. Um, this is the new project by, by Minto Wise, and I'm really excited about this. And why I think it mirrors um, Minto West Side is that the location is going up at Church in Adelaide. So again, my investors wise, when I tell them about Church in Adelaide, I get comments like, isn't that Regent Park? Which it's not, it's not even anywhere close to Regent Park. Um, but we're, we're on, we're on the peripherals of the, let's say the extended St. Lawrence Market area. But we're just on the peripherals. King Street is just right south. Financial District is, is a couple blocks away. And when I look at the five years it'll take the building to be built, this area will be completely gentrified and this will be part of the extended St. Lawrence Market area. And what you get is you get the Minto brand, you get the Minto layouts, amazing layouts in the building, and you get the Minto value um, coming out at a price point I think is uh, slightly below current market values as if another builder were to launch in this area. So again, leaving money on the table 
for the investor, uh, but also building a landmark building wise in regards to what the finishes and everything are going to be. And you get that brand behind the building. Uh, pricing we expect is gonna be starting in the 600s, but we easily set, see that area in five years going well above those price points wise. And it's just on the peripherals. You look at everything that's going on. People are going to want to live in this location to easily be able to get to their job in the financial core and easily be able to access the St. Lawrence market uh, area. So our big winner of the fall is the 89 church project. The Saint, we think that is going to be one of the top investment opportunities this fall. Number two, if you wanted something um, that's in an area that's already gentrified, um, you are gonna pay a little more. Um, they have their 123 Portland project, which is going literally in the heart of King West. Uh, that one's going to be priced more in the 13 to 1400 square foot mark. Seeing other units, penthouse or terrace units in the 15 to 1600 dollar per square foot mark. But they're going for a very high end finishing level in that building. Um, and again, leaving some money on the table compared to other high end projects in the area wise to again, to give back to their investors um, to make sure that everyone profits in this opportunity. Meanwhile, investing in the building to make sure it is a building that stands the test of time. So based on my past success um, and the success of my, my investors in the past Minto projects, I think these both are two incredible opportunities coming this fall. And I highly encourage you, if you are a current investor or looking to get in the investment market, to start off or, or give yourself a chance in one of these projects wise um, and gain the same Minto success that I and my investors have had in the past. Anything to add? Oh, yeah. Follow the money. Follow the, <laughs> follow the money. Okay, guys, so follow my money. Invest in Minto. It'll help you build generational wealth, financial freedom, um, and see more information on those projects in the coming days. Okay. Talk soon, guys. Oh, I forgot to introduce us again. You did. Hey, Alex Wilson, team lead re, uh, of alexjwilson.com, and we have Kyle DeVigi, of course, director of operations of Remax Wealth Builders of Real Estate. Okay, talk Bye to you guys, guys later. Bye-bye.